Beekeeping is male dominated like most farming is. And usually when I get to someone's house to cut open their soffit or their wall, they're pretty surprised to see me. I'm 5'2", female, younger. They're pretty shocked to see me with these big power tools, scooping up honeybees in my hand. And I've been questioned several times, you're the one doing the bee removal? Where's your husband? You know, and no, nope, it's me. I'm gonna cut your wall open and do a good job. <laughs> Mostly I do honeybee relocation. So I save all the honeybees that I remove from people's homes, trees, uh, compost bins, whatever you have. And then from there, I bring my bees to an apiary and then we make honey. my younger years outside my parents were like no television get out there go play I climbed trees I had a dog I mean I lived outside I spent my days at plant nurseries so I've always been connected I've always wanted to grow my own food I have a large vegetable garden and I have three children too so I just wanted to know where our food came from and somebody put a post on Facebook about selling small beehives called Nucleus Colonies and once I looked into it, I just knew it was for me. I wanted to produce honey from our own yard. That's a nice little frame of bees. It's hard nowadays, uh, there's a lot of things working against bees. Mites, colony collapse disorder, uh, chemicals, just so many different things. Uh, and also, there's not a lot of places to keep bees, to host them, especially in the city. 80% of our food production comes from honeybees. We have to have them or we, we, you know, we'll lose a lot of our food. The most important thing people can do for bees, not only honeybees, are native bees and also our native wasps. They're losing habitat and resources. So buy plants that are native to your area and leave habitat for them. How often do you get stung? What's that? How often do you get stung? Usually every time I come out to an apiary. My favorite part is the reaction I get from people. Just how grateful they are that people are out there doing this. I think that's the most rewarding part and that's what keeps me motivated to keep doing it. I started a TikTok account last year in December and posted an educational video about uh, how honeybees kill a queen and I got 30 million views. It just went viral. People want to know. People want to know all about honeybees. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in the beekeeping world. It's called queen balling. There is a queen in the center of that ball and these honeybees are trying to kill her. It's so rewarding and the bee removals are kind of like a treasure hunt. Uh, and again, I just love being able to provide my city with a service that, you know, is giving back to the city. Not using chemical sprays, saving the bees, the bees get to pollinate your backyard, your vegetable garden, and then you get to eat the honey from your own yard.